Hey, good Thursday to you. We're saying goodbye to Milton now as the storm moves out to sea. Things across Florida will start to improve. We're also going to be looking at the potential heading into next week for our first snow for some of you. It's going to turn cold and it's been chilly even today. I don't know about you, but there's some frost here where I am. Have you seen any frost yet? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys and let me know where you're at too. A lot of folks will check in and say, I had frost, but I have no idea where you're at. So uh, if you want to drop a comment down below, feel free to do so. I love hearing from you guys. This cold shot of air here in the Northeast will start to lift out as we head through Friday into Saturday, but we've got more cold air just building up here across Canada. Chunks of that keeps breaking off and we're going to see that again. A huge storm up here in the Aleutians that's just, that's going to bring some unsettled weather to, to this area. Milton now again going out to sea. A lot of fair weather here across the United States uh, today. That's going to start to change a little bit for some of you. Let's take a look at the surface map here. High pressure building into the southeast. Clear blue skies. Very October-like here. Cool mornings mild afternoons and on the back side of this high in fact i would argue we're hot temperatures warming up eventually into the 90s and now we're looking to the northwest at our next system that starts to move through now we do have a weak system that could bring a few rain showers maybe some snow showers into the highest elevations of the northeast heading into the weekend but there's another piece of energy that starts to dive south heading into saturday and then into sunday this is also really pairing up with a trough that starts to dig in here across the northern plains first it's going to move across parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin, and I think that we will have enough cold air to bring a few snow showers to parts of the UP of Michigan, maybe even parts of Wisconsin. Now, not a lot of accumulation, but it could be the first flakes of the season flying here, and this is a pretty cold shot of air moving south as we head into now Monday and Tuesday, and let's just get in a little bit closer here. Uh, this is the northeast. We'll start here. Let's go back, actually. Let's start here across the Midwest. This makes more sense, right? <laughs> Chronologically speaking. There comes that cold. And again, a few snow showers mixing in here across Wisconsin. Uh, also, maybe even into parts of Michigan. I don't think it's going to really mix in much here in the lower peninsula of Michigan. But the UP definitely seeing that potential on the table. And then into the Northeast, as that cold air pivots to the east, we'll see rain change the snow showers. And these are setting up almost like lake effect snow shower bands here. If you go back 12 hours ago, uh, the GFS had a very similar solution showing those lake effect rain and snow showers. And I'm not so sure we don't squeeze some snow showers out here into the highest mountains of West Virginia. Into the Northeast, I think this is going to be the best area, I guess, if you're going to see snow. And the last couple of runs uh, that we've looked at on the models have have tried to blow up a, an area of low pressure here somewhere either off the coast of Maine or inland here. I think the placement of that will be important, but either way, it's trying to dump a band of snow on the west side of that. Now, does it end up back over here in Canada, back towards Montreal? I don't think it's going to be in Toronto, Hamilton. I think it's going to be north of that, but certainly... I would say north of this line now into parts of northern New York, northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire. This could be more snow showers for you guys. I know we've already seen a few flakes flying here, but this is a pretty cold air mass. And then another reinforcing shot of some cold air on Tuesday moves south. This here in particular could bring some more snow to the mountains of Pennsylvania, even West Virginia. Not a lot, but your first flakes of the season could be flying as we head into next week with this Really amplified setup here, a pretty tr de decent trough, strong northwest flow continuing to blow in. So cold weather on the way. Temperatures, let's look at that. I think that's the driving feature uh, that we're talking about here. We're cold in the morning again on Friday. A lot of frost and freezing, uh, I think, again early in the morning. Temperatures in the afternoon across the northeast, barely getting to 50 in some areas. But look at the heat building back here across the the, the central part of the country you guys are like, cold? I don't even know what that means. We're back up in the mid-80s and lower 90s. Cold again as we head into uh, Saturday morning, especially into the mountains of Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina. Western North Carolina, certainly a lot of people without power, so you've got you to gotta be a little bit worried about that. Temperatures rebound some as we head into Sunday and Monday, but then here comes the chilly air as we move into Monday and then especially into Tuesday morning. We're going to slow this down a little bit. Look up towards Iowa, Minnesota, dropping below freezing early Tuesday morning, and really I think Wednesday morning would be the coldest for places like Western North Carolina. The concern here is, again, all the folks without power with temperatures dropping below freezing at night, and look at that 40-degree line. I mean, it's pretty far south now. I mean, you know, you're, you're talking about widespread 40s and uh, very close to 
the 40s here along the Gulf Coast. So that cold push of air is really going to go south as the dry season kind of starts to kick in, you could argue, across parts of Florida. Let's take the GFS out a little bit further because there is the potential, I think, for some tropical development that we have to keep an eye on as we head into the next week or so. Uh, as of this point, there's nothing really that we're watching in particular, but I think it does get a little bit more favorable as we head toward the end of next week. The GFS notorious for blowing tropical systems up, but it's been pretty good this year, you gotta admit. I mean, albeit it usually has feedback problems, but it's done a pretty good job of at least sniffing out the idea of when something tropical will develop. So that's a time period I think we have to watch. So somewhere between the 18th and the 23rd, 24th into uh, the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. All right, that's all I got. If you've not subscribed, hope you will. And I uh, hope you have a great Thursday. See you next time.